Well, this is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Send now prosperity over your lives today. Welcome those of you that are on Clubhouse. Uh, welcome, welcome those of you that are on Clubhouse, those of you that are on Instagram. Hey, Glasper. Miss you, Mika. Um, all of you, Coffee a Day. All of those that are on stage. Um, and those that are coming in on Facebook. Um, it's a great day to be alive. Any day above ground zero is a great day to be alive. It is a great day to be alive. I pray that you're doing well and all is well with you and yours on today. I'm excited about today's teaching. Uh, we're going to get to it in just one second. I want you to make sure that you invite and share on all platforms. Um, there's a number I want to get it, give out, and you can grab your cell phone if you're not connected to me. Um, and don't get text messages from me. Then by all means, uh, take this number down. And for those of you that are uh, on Facebook, it, it's on the it's on the bottom, but uh, it's it's. Um, uh, praying for you, Mika. Uh, 833-574-0985. 833-574-0985. And text WTROC. Uh, WTROC. And you will be a part of our uh, text messaging. Uh You'll be a part of our text messaging. Um, I want to I want to talk about something today uh, that is dear to me, uh, and that is faith. Uh, every now and then, I got to give you a booster, and today today I'm giving you a booster uh, in in faith. Uh, I, I want to talk about learning uh, how to navigate through life with faith. Learning how to navigate through life or navigating through life with faith whatever whatever one whatever one that you um uh want mika we are praying for you uh i don't know who's who's on instagram that can put that subject up for me um uh if y'all would share please do so navigating through life with faith navigating through life with faith um, so I, I want to go a couple of ways with this but let me let me start here a, a simple way to uh, hey Tara uh, to um, approach this is for me to give you an example of uh, of navigating system. What is what is navigation in, in your car for? It is to it is to get you to a certain destination. A, a navigation system. We used to ask people, Carol, for Carolyn, we used to ask people coffee for directions. Give me directions. We said we said things like this. Uh, first of all, I'm on the east side, and you take uh, such such a expressway to exit number whatever, and then you get off and you make a right and look for the bank on the right side, and then that's where the turn is, and then when you get to the bank on the right side, then you see a school. I live right across the street from school. That's how we used to, before we had navigating systems. We took the word of somebody for their directions. But now we are sophisticated in the sky, our satellites, uh, satellites. Uh, hey, Joy, there are satellites that beam across um, the, the world 
and they connect us and our cars connect through our navigation system. They get us where we need to be. Without a navigation system, you'd be lost. You'd be confused. You'd be disoriented. And you won't get to your place of destiny. It is, it is, it is, she came good to see. You. It is my desire that everybody that's under the sound of my voice. And if you have not heard the message, I think it's one of my best messages here lately. And that is, uh, hey, Ariel. Uh, and that is uh, the dream, dreams, uh, um, part three. The series on uh, bringing your dream to pass. Can't think of the right subject. I I talk, so I preach so much until. Uh, but anyway, part three. There's been so many responses of me playing the replay on Facebook, and um, make sure that you 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 listen and watch. Um, and so navigation systems, we. It, it, it is, we, we hear it. We hear it talking to us. Proceed to the destination. Make a right. Take I-94. I'm using or 75 North. Get up at exit 293. Turn right at this street or that street. It is, it is, it is voice activate it you can turn it off but then you would have to look at it to make sure sometimes people just turn it off and you just have to pay attention but hey Ms. Adam but the thing that I want to get you to understand you are navigating through various streets and expressways to get you where you need to go that's just like faith. Faith helps you navigate through life, through difficult terrain, through difficult situation, through difficult problems. Faith helps you to, faith is your navigating. Thank you for the uh, badges. Faith is your navigation system through life. It's so ironic to me that people talk about every kind of way they can in pleasing God. Y'all not saying nothing. They talk about every kind of way. Coffee. They talk about going to church. They talk about praising God. They, 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 they talk about, you know, for those of you that are really in church, um, speaking in tongues, the gifts of the spirit, all those things. But there's only one way one thing that the Bible talks about that don't please God. It is impossible to please without faith. It is impossible to please God. Y'all not saying nothing. Without faith, it is impossible. What is the word impossible? It's not possible to please God. Wouldn't it be sad that you did all these things, these churchy things? And God said, when, he, when you see him, he says, you know, you really could have, you really could have got further. You really could have got further if you just had some faith. You really could have done all the things that you dreamed about and all the things that you, hey, Sean, thank you. Uh, all of the things that you wished upon and had whims upon. You, you really could have did all those things uh, a day. But you just lacked one thing. You lacked faith. What do you mean? I, I, yeah, you, you came short. Because if you just had had that, that, that missing element in your life, if you could have, you, matter of fact, that sickness that, that that you that you had, if you just had a lot of, a little faith for it, it wouldn't have never got as bad. And maybe, just maybe, you would still be around. What do you mean, God? Oh, oh, hey, that that money you was praying to me for, 
it was there. I just needed you to use faith to navigate your way through it to get to the money. Oh, by the way, that business that you wanted to start, y'all not saying that, that business that you wanted to start, oh, I was all for it. Matter of fact, I, I wasn't for, I wasn't, I wasn't against anything that you wanted to do. You just lacked faith. You, you just like all those things that you prayed to me for. I heard you. I'm not an absent landlord. I'm not, I'm not, y'all, y'all not saying nothing, uh, Dr. Paulette. I, 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 I heard you every time you prayed. You just lacked faith. You just lack faith. That, 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 that's all you needed, Sarah. That, that's all you needed. I, I was there to take you through the hard times, but you just, you just like some of y'all, the things that you are praying to God for, he said, I, I, I'm, I, I heard you the first time that you prayed, but you just didn't put faith to it. Faith is the fuel to your unanswered prayers. I, I tell y'all all the time, you don't have sick problems. You have faith problem. That sickness that you have is not unto death. That, that's why it's still around. You you have you have you have faith problems. Hey, Freddie. And without faith, it is impossible to please God. What kind of faith? What kind of faith do I need? The size, the grain of a little mustard seed. That that's it. It, it don't take much. I, I just need you to believe against all odds, and 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 and, and all those things that coffee that you're dealing with and that you're praying for. I just need you to. I need. I just need you to believe just a little bit. Because with God, with man, come in coffee, you're not saying that. With man, it's impossible. But with faith in God, all things are possible to them that believe. So, 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 a, a lot of the things that you are, that you are, you are, you are warning. That used to be a saying that we used to have. Uh, it was just, just fake it. Fake it till you make it. Fake it till you make it. No, I don't, I don't believe in that. I used to believe it. But then, then I, I took another look at it, and it's really faith it until you make it. Faith goes beyond, I don't know who I'm talking to, but I'm assigned to somebody. If you identify yourself, I, I'll talk to you because ain't nobody else want to talk to me. I, I'm here for somebody, and I, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta zero in on who I'm here for because somebody needed to hear this today. That all your problems can be solved if you just walk by faith and not by sight. There's something about the navigation system. That when he, whatever you have it, some of y'all may have it, a man talking, uh, or Sarah Jenkins say, I'm here for her. All right, Sarah, I'm going to talk to you because ain't nobody else saying nothing. Uh, uh, there's something about the navigation system that makes you feel good. There's something about the navigation system that makes you feel secure. When you don't, when you, don't, when you, uh, uh, when there's no, when there's, uh, hey, brother Caldwell. When there's no navigation system, you ever, you ever, your navigation system ever went out or wasn't acting right, start acting, hey, why, Pastor Jerry, you come on up, uh, and, and you felt, you felt discombobulated because you couldn't hear the navigate Siri or whoever talking to you. Well, that's just like faith because y'all ready? Y'all not going to sit down. Faith comes by hearing. 
You don't just come here every Tuesday, Thursday, or whenever you're watching this or listening to this just for me to tickle your fancy. Carolyn, Talita, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. The more you hear, that's why you can't. I, I'm in here now. I don't need y'all no more. I'm good. Y'all ain't got to say amen no more. That's why you don't need to just hear anything. Because there's some people that talk into you. I wish I had somebody in here. There's some people that talk to you and speak into your life. They don't place faith in your spirit because it's all about what you put in your spirit. Y'all, y'all not saying nothing, Stacy. They, they, they put, all right, I see you, Andrea. I'm here for you too. Uh, they put fear in your spirit. Huh? That's why you got to be careful when you're going through, Mika. You got to be careful who's, who's talking in your ear. You got to be careful who you get your, who you get your advice from. You're not saying nothing. You can't just get advice from anybody because they are speaking into your spirit man. And your spirit man, y'all not saying nothing. If your spirit man, if they, if they get in your ear gate and then get in your spirit, it's, what, it's what's inside of a man that decides what comes out. So you got you to gotta guard Andrea, you got to guard Harriet. You have to guard your ear gate. Some of y'all are getting misinformation. Yeah, I feel like teaching that. You're getting misinformation. And you're being polluted in your spirit. Because faith come by hearing. You're not being, you're not, God help me today. I, I, I was moving a little slow. You're not being, you're not getting the correct faith booster that you need because you're hearing from the wrong people. And, and, and friends will mess you up, but family will put fear in you. Most of the time, Fridia, the people, uh -huh. I'm, I'm getting ready to go. Uh, Maurice, the people that hurt us the most is the people that know how to get to us. If you just join, uh, I'm talking about navigating through life with faith. Um, sometimes people have been assigned because it's what goes in, it's what goes in a man, what goes in your spirit. That comes up. You can't hang around the people, a bunch of people that think in logic and walk by faith. I just said something. I'm getting ready to go. Huh? That's good. Friends knock us down and family will kill us. Friends knock us down. That's good. That's good. You can't hang around a bunch of logic thinking people and expect to walk in faith. If you live in faith, one plus one don't equal two. That's logic. Sometimes when you walk by faith, you have to be unlearned. You have to unlearn some things that you learn. You're too smart. Because sometimes you got to act like you don't know. Sometimes God wants you to act like you don't know nothing. One plus one. Don't equal two in faith. You smart, Sean. You know how to add and all that. Huh? One plus one in faith could mean one plus one thousand times. Because we walk by faith, not by logic is sight. I see it. Huh? Some of y'all too smart. You adding up your bank account. Adding up bank accounts is not faith. And the bank accounts, whether you can do it or not, is not faith. 
Faith is when God allows you to do what's impossible to man, but possible. I'm going on. I'm going on because y'all don't want to hit me. Huh? You cannot add things up by logic. You will if you if you think if you think that the only way that you're gonna do it is by your paycheck, you will never have it. As I look over the audience uh, on all these lives, I see some people in here that I know. I see some people and I know that ain't living by their paycheck. Because if they was living by their paycheck, Kimberly, welcome. If they were living by their paycheck, they would have lost their mind a long time ago in the things that they've done. But some people have stretched out. Huh? They've stretched out on faith. Hey, I believe I'll testify while I have a chance. I've not worked a nine to five since 1992. Some of y'all weren't even born. Huh? I live, I breathe. By faith. Huh? And the just shall live by their faith. Faith is when I do it, even when I don't see it. Y'all should put that in the comments. Put that in the comments. Uh, GDV version. GDV version. Faith is when I see it. Faith is when I don't even see it, but I hear it. Faith always starts with sound. It always starts with hearing. Can you hear? Can you hear? It always starts with sound. You hear something before it comes. And faith is always, y'all not say, faith, faith is always crazy to somebody that thinks in logic. Huh? You faith says I never have enough money to do it. Faith says my paycheck is not even a factor. Because in order to have faith, you cannot live by logic. Faith says I got a good business plan, but I don't know where the money coming from, but I still work the plan. Y'all not say faith says that God told me to start something and I don't even know how I'm gonna fund it. Cause I told y'all every let me let me let me do this. Every time that I've done something big, I've never had the money for it. It's always bigger. I don't know if I'm helping somebody. I can go if y'all don't enjoy this because I, I don't. I've never had the money. I've never had enough. But I live by, but my God shall supply all of my need. Huh? Now, there's something funny, Coffee, about that scripture because a uh, 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 bishop Jerry, prophet Jerry, it don't say needs. It says, my God shall supply all of my need. It never said needs because God can provide for one thing that will take care of everything. No, no, Paulette, don't scream at me. Don't, don't scream at me. I'm, I'm sensitive. <laughs> huh? God can take, he said, it didn't say, I read that scripture for years. I've heard people's quoted. It says, but my God shall supply all of my need. One need. And then everything else. First seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these God. The kingdom is God's way of doing things. All right. It ain't deep. Y'all trying to, y'all trying to find it. The Bible says the kingdom cannot be found. It is, it is in us. It is not found by observation. You don't say, oh, they go to kingdom. The kingdom is in us. So when you show up at your job, the kingdom is there. When you show up at a restaurant, the kingdom of God is there. It is in you. Stay see, they don't want you gonna get in trouble for agreeing with me. Don't agree with me. Don't get it. Don't agree with me. You're gonna get in trouble. These people don't like this. Somebody mod Linwood, please. 
uh, uh, the kingdom is here. That's why we have to, the Bible says, uh, occupy until I return. Do business. We're supposed to be in the marketplace. We're supposed to be in the entertainment field. We're supposed to be in politics. We're supposed to be in the marketplace. We're supposed to be selling. We're, be, we're supposed to be the ones that are in charge. We're supposed to do business, but we're the only ones that are waiting for money instead of producing and reproducing what we have. Y'all don't like this kind of teaching. We're supposed to be everywhere. We're supposed to be in music. That's why I'm in it. I ain't got to sing that good. That's okay. My new single coming out. I feel good about it. Huh? Me and Brooke, we feel good about it. Huh? Y'all not listening to me. You're supposed to. You're supposed to get out there. But you're making a bunch of fearful excuses. Linwood, help me. Fear and faith is like oil and water. Oil and water don't mix. You put some water in your tank and see what happens. That's good, Pastor Jerry. He never told us to pray for our need. He said, if you delight yourself in him, he'll give you everything you need. God Almighty, it comes with relationship. I'm all for church. But church is not relationship. Church is fellowship. God Almighty, y'all not saying nothing. Y'all not saying nothing. Huh? Church is fellowship. God is relationship. God is relational. That's why he put Adam and Eve in the garden. He wanted relationship. He said, he said, am I going too deep, Linwood? He said, I need y'all. I need y'all to take over this. I made it for you. You, you, you take over, take over, subdue, be, be large and in charge, be the HNIC. Y'all know what that mean. Be large and in charge. He said, I only want you to do one thing. Y'all not saying nothing. I want you to do one thing in, in, in the cool of the evening, right before, right before you go to bed, I need you to hang out with me and worship with me. And you can have anything. Hey, hey, you, there, there's some discipline you got to have. Just don't touch that over there. Huh? It was never designed for us to. It was because of sin. I'm not going to go there. I'm not going there. Church is fellowship. God is relationship. We got relationship in church, but we ain't got no, we ain't got no, we ain't got no relationship with God. I'm not against church. I went there last night. I go on Saturdays. I preach in church still. But I'm about relationship. Because when you tap into God, the true and living, when you tap into God, the problem is we want what's in God's hand. And he says, if you get in my face, you can get what's in my hand. Worship me. Take time out in the day. Have relationship with me and you can have everything. The cattle on a thousand hill belong to him. Hey, y'all. I'm, I'm trying to help you. Have you ever been in fellowship, prayer, meditation, whatever you want to call it? Get in tune with God. Get in right alignment with God. Clean out yourself. Empty yourself. Huh? And you can hear. Man, when I was in this house by myself during the pandemic, I could start seeing through walls, hearing through, through, through anything because I was alone. My faith grew. My faith got bigger. Sometimes you have to clean out and clear out everybody that's talking to you y'all not y'all not y'all not saying nothing and so you will never let me get i don't know how i got there you will never be able to go through life and navigate through life without faith speaking 
Hey, son, how you doing? So I say, you, 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 your faith needs to start talking. Huh? Faith tells doubt to shut up, Linwood. Faith tells doubt, shut up, I'm doing this. Faith tells, I don't care who it is. Faith tells your friends, your, 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 your buddies, your, your, your family, shut up, I'm doing this. That's why you got to be careful who you tell every, you can't tell everybody where you're going. You can't tell everybody, and you sure can't take everybody where you're going. You definitely can't, because people that you try to tell everything, they'll kill your faith. There's some of you that are listening to me, watching me right now. You got faith killers. Hey, Overseer Harris, you got people killing your faith all around you. What kind of faith should you have? What kind of faith? Can you prove to me that navigates through life? Well, I'm glad you asked. Come here, Linwood. I'm glad you asked, Linwood. I, I know you need a little scripture. You're one of them kind of guys. Uh, uh, let, let's go. Let's go. Let's let's go. Let's go to Genesis 22. And, and there's a little story in there uh, about about a man named Abraham. Uh, he had a son by the name of Isaac. And Abram. Uh, was told you're going to have the promise and that's Isaac. It's not Ishmael, it's Isaac. And, and so, uh, uh, hey, you're going to have a son. It's the promise. I'm going to bless Ishmael also, but Isaac is the promise. God gives him Isaac at an old age of almost 100 years old. Sarah is in her 90s and they have the promise. They got, come here, come here, prophet Jerry, they got what they prayed for. But what do you do? What do you do, Deshaun? The Bills? What do you do when, get, when then God requires of you to sacrifice what he gave you? Yo, I'm not saying nothing. You just got a brand new car. And, and God said, I need you to give it away. I, I need you to take that extra that extra washing machine and dryer that you got in your in your in your in your in your garage. I, I was I was telling, see, I'm a faith man. I love come here, y'all. Say, say, go deeper, bitch. I love when the enemy start messing. Cause then I start faithing. I, I was telling, I was telling Goody, I she was troubled about something, and, and I said, let's just get it for him. Because my faith start talking. I don't like the devil to mess with me and my because then my faith rises up. Oh, money? Money? Huh? Money is currency. Money is supposed to be exchanged. Money is supposed to move. That's why some of us we got the same old money because we ain't moved our money. I'm going, I'm not going, I'm not going there. I'm not going there. Our money is not moving. Money has to move. It's currency. Anybody ever seen a, don't you holler at me there like that, girl. Money is currency. It has to move. Money that sits will never, ever multiply. I don't need y'all now. Y'all y'all didn't want to say amen to me earlier. Money has to move. Money, money has to move, coffee. Money cannot sit. I'm all for saving. I'm all for investing. That is the that is what the world teaches you. But I invest in the highest stock. It's called seed time and money is current. What does a current do? A current moves. Money that moves is money that circulates. You got it, sir. That's just like your faith. It has to move. A body in motion stays in motion a body in rest stays in rest faith that is in motion y'all not saying nothing keeps on moving faith that don't move stays in rest your faith is taking you somewhere now god says to him 
After these things, God tested Abraham and said to him, Abraham, he said, here I am. He said, take your only son. Take that, more, that son I gave you. Go where I tell you to go. And you're going to sacrifice him. Man, you ain't been. Has anybody in this room other than me? Don't scream in this car, Jerry. Uh, 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 a prophet, I'm sorry. Has anybody ever been tested before by God? Whenever, let me tell y'all, let me tell you when God tests you, you in good stock, you in good company. Whenever that, that's what some of y'all going through right now. God, hey, this is for somebody. God will never let you sacrifice everything you got, lose everything you got, and not give you more. Good evening, good night, goodbye, hello, young lover, wherever you are. Did you just hear what I said? I don't know who that's for, but God will never let you lose everything. If we believe that there's a reason for everything, he will not let you lose everything you got and not got better and more for you. Y'all not saying nothing. Huh? Those of y'all that drive don't, don't have access because God said, I'm a restore. Huh? Huh? He said, I'll restore everything that the kinker worm and the palmer worm and all those worms that came to eat up your stuff, I'll give it back to you. Who am I talking to? He said, I need you to take your only son, the thing that I gave you, the thing that you've been waiting for. What do you do when God says you've been waiting for it, but now I want to take it and see if you love it more than me? Because it's always about whether you love it more than me. Ain't nothing wrong with stuff, but God wanted, he said, I want you to take it to Moriah and offer him up and offer one at one of the mountains. I shall tell you. Now, wait a minute. You telling me to take my only son, take him to another land. And you ain't going to even tell me where you want me to sacrifice him at. No, I just want you to move by faith. Sometimes come here, come here, come here, Bill. Come here, Linwood. Come here, come here, Linwood. Come here. You think you're going for one reason. But then he gives you the real reason. Because faith navigation never really tells you the destiny. It is, re it is unveiled. It is unwrapped. Y'all not saying nothing. Bill, you thought you was going to Detroit for one reason. It was never about, y'all not saying nothing, Bill. It was never about the reason why you went. I'm glad you're taking notes. Uh, huh? It was never about taking over somebody else. Y'all not saying that. It was always about Deshaun. I'm all in your business. So faith unwraps the true reason why. God does something in our life. Abram, Abraham goes. I'm done, y'all. Abraham goes. He follows what God says. He, he takes two men with him. He takes his son. Can you imagine what it was for God to tell him, I'm taking what I gave you. Y'all not saying nothing. I'm taking what I gave you. Because I want to see if you're going to complain about losing what I gave you. <laughs> Doggone it. Preach, Bishop. I'm taking it. Because I want to see. It's a test whether you love me more than you love it. Love it thou more than thee. Y'all know that's what Jesus said. Huh? Do you trust me enough? To lose the one thing I gave you that you've been waiting for. Y'all not saying nothing. Y'all not saying nothing. Y'all not saying. I'm, I'm about to leap. Do you trust me enough? I'm closing, y'all. I don't really want to, but I got to close. Got to go somewhere. Do you love me enough to give up? I'm trying. Don't scream at me. Y'all screaming at me on here. Are you okay to take your son? And the Bible says he falls asleep. And when he wakes up, he sees the place afar off. Now what? Hey, hey, Prophet Jerry, 
are, are you still here, Linwood? Because this is the real preach. Are, are y'all here? Coffee, Kimberly, everybody here? Co Carolyn, Erica, everybody accounted for? Y'all ready, Barbette? Here we go. Look at what faith says. Y'all ready? Now, now y'all got the scenery? He finally sees the place he's going to sacrifice. His only son, Isaac. All right? He got two men with him. God shows him the place. Linwood, here's the tension in the text. Here's the shot. Y'all ready? Abraham has so much faith. Hello, Tierra. Welcome. C come here. Come here. Come here. Come here, Vanessa. Come here, Dawn. Come here, y'all. Come, come here. Abraham has so much faith. This is what he tells. Now, remember, he's going sacrifice. That, that meant in those days to put to put a sacrifice, mean to make a sacrifice, mean to put it on the altar and it had to be burned. Huh? It had to be burned. Either it had to be burned or it had to be, it had to be cut. Y'all not saying nothing. He's taking his only son. Hey, Prophet Jerry, delete your, don't be preaching ahead of me. That ain't fair. It ain't fair. He says, he says, the lad and I, we're going up there to sacrifice, but here's the faith. Man, I just had chills go through me. He said, but me and the lad will return. I need about 29 of y'all to put in there. I need 29 of y'all to put a heart if you understood. No, no, no. Y'all don't understand it. I need to stop rolling in the shit. Y'all don't understand it. Y'all don't understand. It. He said, take your only son up there and sacrifice him. Y'all not saying nothing. Sacrifice either means to burn, huh, or to cut. But his faith. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I want to preach, but I ain't preach. But his faith said, y'all wait here, boys. And me and the lad will be back. <laughs> now, it sounds like he was going against God. But he had enough faith in God. Y'all not saying nothing. He had enough faith in God to say, I, I know, I know, I know what you told me to do. And I'm going all the way. But I know some kind of way. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Me and the boy are coming back. Even if I got to come back with him dead. You are, you, you, y'all, y'all, I got enough. I got enough trust in you that if I lose everything and I still got you, I got enough. To start all over again. That's how you, brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, I'm getting ready to go because I feel my preacher on me on a Tuesday. I, 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 brothers and sisters, that's the kind of faith you need to have to navigate. That even when God says it's going to happen another way, even if he says it's going to happen this way, you've got enough faith to navigate and say, when the doctor says cancer's all in your body, with his stripes, I'm healed. When the doctor says that you got high blood and 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 and, and you you almost borderline stroke, you got enough faith to say, "I'm gonna make it through this." Me and the lad will be back. It is not. Only until you go through something that your faith shines the greatest. You can talk about faith, Mika, but not until you go through something do you really qualify that you have faith. We would never be talking about Abraham and Isaac right now if we did not see the trouble. Trouble causes faith to be activated. You can't talk about you got faith. Unless you've been through something. Can I go old school Baptist coffee? You don't know that he's food on your table until you've been without food. You don't know that he's water in dry places until you ain't had none. You don't know that he's money in your pocket until you've been without money. You don't know that he's a company keeper until you've been lonely. You don't have. I love the faith teachers, Prophet Jerry. But I got one indictment against faith teachers. They just teach you about faith. But they don't tell you about the problems. Well, Bishop, are you telling me that God can change his mind? It happened before. I got another witness. 
Huh? They went, they went, they went to the man's house. The prophet went to the man's house and said, Hezekiah, you're going to die. Y'all not saying nothing. Set your business straight. Get your insurance straight. Get your, get your policy straight, man. The prophet left out. Hezekiah put his faith to the wall. <laughs> I'm a preacher, y'all, 36 years. He put his faith to the wall. And while the prophet was walking out in the courtway, God said, go back and tell him that I heard his faith. <laughs> Y'all praying the wrong kind of prayers. Y'all y'all weeping and moaning and groaning and all that. Y'all not saying nothing. Y'all weeping and mourning. God don't move by that. God only moves by faith. He don't move by your tears, your anger, your cussing, your screaming. He only moves by faith. If he took it this way, then he might, he got something else for me. He never leaves you. Nor forsake you. He went back in and told so Hezekiah said, God said, you got 15 more years. He said, I heard your prayer. I heard your faith. Some of your prayers even be messed up begging God. That ain't the God that wants you to beg him. He wants you to come right before him. Huh? With confidence. This is the confidence that we have. Come here, Prophet Jerry. Quote it. This is the confidence that we have. If we ask anything in his name, we can have it. Y'all not saying. This is the confidence. This is the confidence. Get your confidence back. This is, this is how you navigate through faith. Me and the boy, y'all stay here because I don't need y'all up there. Hey, this is a good preaching point right here, Linwood. Me and the boy going up because there's some little thinking people you need to leave down at the bottom because they'll mess up your faith at the top. I just said something. I said there's some little thinking people you need to leave at the bottom of the mountain. Y'all stay here because y'all can't handle what's about to happen. Some people need to stay behind because they can't handle what's happening. It's lonely at the top. Abraham takes his boy, sits him on a rock, puts some fire, turns around and the little boy say, Daddy, I see the wood. I see the knife. But where's the sacrifice? You the sacrifice, son. Just lay there. You the sacrifice. Huh? I prayed for you, but I got to sacrifice. I got to. I don't know what God. Sometimes you just don't know what God is up to. I don't know who I'm talking to, but I'm done. And as Abraham got ready to lift the knife and kill his only son. God said, hold your hand, boy. Hold your hand. Hold your hand. Stop. Stop. Don't kill him. I just wanted to see if you had enough faith. Go look over there. In the in the thicket of things. Behold, there's a ram that's stuck over there. I stuck that ram over there. Because I believed in you. I believed in you enough that you would sacrifice. That you would obey. That you would believe me. God. Don't be in tears y'all. Don't be in tears. Somebody over saying that. Don't be in tears. Go look over there. Somebody you've lost everything. But God said go look. Because in the thick of the things. <coughs> I got a ram that's stuck. Over there in the thick of the things. Take that ram. Take your boy off the altar. Because Abraham, my bishop, if he was here right now, then what he would say, it was only a test. Y'all know, know every now and then, I'm done. I promise you, I'm Baptist. I got three clothes. I, I'm Baptist. I, I promise you, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Uh, every now and then, uh, your TV, they take over your TV, and it says, yeah, this is a test of the emergency broadcast system. If this was the real thing, you would have been told to turn to a, turn to a channel. Uh, so that we can give you further instruction. But since this is only a test, you will resume to your regular watch program because this is only a test. That's what God is saying to some of you today. This is only a test. You're getting ready to resume back to your life. You're getting ready to get back to you. Everything that the devil stole, 
everything that the devil took from you. He said, I'm going to give it back to you 100 fold in this life and time. How you navigate? Huh? By trusting God for what you hear, even when you don't see the result. I just said something. You got to trust him when you don't see him. You got to trust him when you don't, you don't even know where it's coming from. Some trust in horses. Good evening, y'all. Good night. Some trust in horses. Some trust in chariots. But we will remember the name of the Lord. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. And the righteous run in and they all say, hey, y'all. You don't have a sick problem. You got a faith problem. Huh? You don't have a money problem. You have a faith problem. Faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things you cannot see. Today, get your faith back. Find your focus. Get your navigation back together and walk by faith. For we walk by faith. When you start the car up and you put the navigation, it's, it's amazing to me, Prophet Jerry Linwood. It's amazing to me that we'll trust the voice of of a navigation system in our car. The pilot will trust the navigation system, the autopilot, to fly a plane. But we don't have enough faith in God to find our place. Hey, y'all. I done told y'all I'm done. That's my third closing. I done told y'all. I done told you before. Some of y'all trying to start business and you looking for money for it. Money follows vision. Money follows dream. Money follows dream. You don't, you don't, you don't, you don't, I need the money. No, you need. God has not just given out money just for foolishness. He's given out money for your dreams. And you'll be just like the lady that started an oil business, an oil selling business in the Bible. You'll have enough to pay your debt and go live off of it. The rich, they don't spend their own money. They get their credit together. And they borrow money from others. Y'all not saying nothing. Y'all don't want to hear that kind of stuff. You're going to make it through this. But without faith, it is impossible to please God. I want to challenge your faith today. I want to challenge your faith with a seed. If I was talking about, if I was talking about uh, 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 healing, then I'd pray for the sick. But I'm talking about faith. Good for you, Kaylee. We don't talk about credit enough. I talked about it until I got it together. I'm not bragging, but my credit score is in the 800s. That's not bragging. Some of it was 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 God getting it together, and some of it was me getting myself together. I speak the same thing over your life. I speak the same thing over your life. I speak the same. Somebody say I receive it. I want you to give a faith seed today. I want you to give a faith seed today. I want you to believe God. I want you, this is not a logic. You can't sit and say, oh, well, remember what I just said. This is currency. Money has to move. Money has to move. Money has to move. When you, when you sow a seed, it's moving. It's growing. It becomes a harvest. I want you to sow a seed today. And I simply want you to sow a seed of $41. $41. They went in circles. They had no faith to go in the promised land, Linwood. They went in circles for 40 years. And on the 41st year, God said enough. Joshua. Moses is dead. You and this people go in the promised land. I want you to sow. I want you to sow a seed 
today of $41. The information is on the screen. Dollar sign, Greg Davis 10. Dollar sign, Greg Davis 10. So your seed of $41. 40 a faith seed. What are you putting on there? This is my faith seed. So your seed of $41. So your faith seed of $41. Dollar sign, Greg Davis 10. Dollar sign, Greg Davis 10. PayPal. PayPal. Contact Greg Davis. This is, this is not a logic seed. This is a faith. Some of you say, Bishop, after that word, I want to give more. My faith is built. My faith is built. So your seed of $41. Zell, Greg Davis Show at gmail.com. Some of y'all want to double it to 82. So your faith seed. I don't know if Mika's still over on Instagram. So your faith seed of $41. Those of you that are on Instagram, those of you that are on Facebook, you got one minute to do it. This is your navigation seed. So your seed. Those of you that are on Clubhouse, the information, uh, check in. I want to challenge. I want to challenge everybody that got businesses, everybody that has ministries to sow. Sow that seed of $41. Thank you, Carolyn. Thank you, Fridia. Thank you, Jasmine. Thank you, Erica. Your faith seed today. Sow your faith seed of $41. Sow your faith seed. Thank you, Erica, of 41 Those of you that are watching me. Oh, I'm sorry. It's on the screen. I'm sorry. Coco, Coco Chantel. Zell is Greg Davis Show at gmail.com. It's right there on, on the screen. Your Zell is Greg Davis Show at gmail.com. Greg Davis Show at gmail.com. So your seeds today of faith. So your seeds of faith. Dollar sign Greg Davis 10. I'm sowing. I need to navigate. My faith is taking me somewhere. God bless those of you. I'm going to uh, post this message. Uh, of all the messages that got messed up was the dream series part three. And I did not post it on. I lost it because somebody called on Facebook doing the broadcast and lost it. Um, but it is on my facebook page and it plays throughout the day bless y'all on instagram so you see dollar sign greg davis 10 the lord bless y'all those of you that are on facebook blessings to you thank you all so much i'm gonna leave the giving information up just for a minute love y'all i see y'all next time right here